we saw tonight should not be part of the game. I can't correlate the, the various actions or the timeline that I'm going to lay out. What started with a foul that was deemed to be committed by Judson and a yellow card, fast forward a few minutes, seconds, uh, ended with a racial epithet being used. This is Jeremy Abobasi of the San Jose Earthquakes, who said an opposing player, later identified as New York Red Bulls forward Dante Van Zier, used a racial slur. I think what's important for me to share is that I know what I heard. The reason why I felt after a lengthy conversation that we should continue on with the game is because the player who said the word claimed that it was not aimed at any of us. Van Zier, the offending player, is now away from his club. Racial epithets language cannot be hurled in any direction, whether it was to a black player or not, because that would open up any number of doors themselves. This is quite a tell of what may have been Van Zier's defense on the pitch after using the racial slur. After the match, Van Zier said in a statement released by the team, I want to sincerely apologize to the players of the Earthquakes. I will do everything I can to be part of the change that needs to happen in this sport and our world. I also want to apologize to my teammates, coaches, the organization, and our fans. I made a mistake and will take all the necessary steps to grow. I accept full responsibility for my actions. While I did not intend to cause any harm or offense with my language, I know that I did, and for that, I am deeply sorry. I will agree to any suspension, fine, and counseling that is handed down by Major League Soccer and the club. I will use this opportunity to better myself, reflect, and dedicate my time and efforts to work with organizations that tackle racial injustice. The racist incident went down in the 54th minute. From there, the match saw a 21-minute delay. Although Van Zier, it was reported, did not direct the racial slur at a player, it doesn't matter because there is simply no excuse for using it. Head coach Gerard Struber, pictured here, admitted he mishandled the entire situation by not taking Van Zier off the pitch. Major League Soccer would release a statement of their own, writing they are aware of of the incident, adding the league has zero tolerance for abusing and offensive language and takes those allegations seriously. An investigation into the matter will begin promptly. Further info will be provided upon completion of the investigation. Earthquakes manager Luchi Gonzalez would say post-match, I definitely was adamant to suggest the player should not be on the field anymore. I know it's an accusation, but I believe my players. I trust my players. If they say something, they're high-character human beings before professional soccer players, so I would trust that it's true. NPR would report, Gonzalez advocated for Van Zier to be removed from the pitch directly to the Red Bulls manager. Interestingly enough, afterwards, ESPN printed the Red Bulls said the comment and an action for not removing Van Zier from the match were inexcusable. The manager's apology acknowledged he should have taken the player off. While there was a lot of uncertainty at the time with the info that I now know, the right decision would have been to immediately remove Van Zier from the game, he said. The Athletic had a further breakdown of what transpired. It went down as players huddled near the ref following an infraction. Center back Jonathan Mensa would turn to the ref and he pointed out Van Zier. From there, the Belgian would be shoved and yelled at, and then he would be pulled away. Oddly enough, Van Zier would be taken out with four minutes remaining, just not when the racist act occurred. Following Van Zier, Earthquakes midfielder Christian Espinoza tweeted a video of him and his teammates. Now, you might recognize this gesture. It's because we covered this, what was it, about a week ago, when another Belgian player, Romelu Lukaku of Inter Milan was racially abused at Juventus. After scoring on a penalty, he did that gesture to the fans as well.